Hi folks, I hope everybody's doing good. I got a quick video I want to share with you. It's a pretty sweet knife. I think everybody will like it. Um, first off though, if you thought I was going to put all the stag away, um, not just yet. Uh, it's a very soothing uh, display for me to look at, so I decided to keep it out for just a little bit longer. Okay, the knife I'm going to show is a case, so let's do just a quick spin. We'll just see what's out here. And we'll work our way over to where the case Stag Barlow is. Somewhere way over here. There it is. Let's pull it out and take a quick look at it. And then I'll show you guys the um, case trapper. This here is a, you'll see on the shield here, CCC. It's Case Collectors Club. And... This knife is a 25th anniversary for a junior member, 1981 through 2006. I'm not sure what a junior member is, but I got the knife. And you'll see it's serialized with um, 380. I'm not sure how many were made. But some beautiful stag. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick close-up of that. And <clears throat> this one's a real quality piece here, too. There's virtually nothing wrong with it. I guess you could probably say flawless. It's your little pen blade. All right, let's get to it. In this box... The case box is part number 32840, and that's the Caramel Curly Oak Smooth Trapper, pattern number 7254 in stainless. So I had to pull out the pedestal fame. It's a big knife. And today I'm going to celebrate... The old school trapper, not the bullet trapper, which is a different handle style, um, and not the single blade trapper that I really enjoy. <coughs> this is a two blade, and we'll try and move so you can see how wicked cool these covers are. Now, I don't know what they did to it. It is oak wood, but it looks like they just kind of painted this uh, caramel colored dye on it. But for you trapper lovers, what do you think of that? And it even gets better when we go to the other side. I really like the um, shield shield. There was a lot of oil on this. I didn't clean it up very good. It does, does shine a lot more than what it's showing. But let's flip it over. This, I believe, is a 2021... Because it's a SFO and it's still available. I will leave the link if you are interested in buying it. Um, it's $53 before shipping. Depending on where you're at, I guess, is how much they charge on the shipping. But I'll leave a link in the description box in case you're interested. Because they're still for sale. And you can only get them at one case, uh, one case dealer outlet. 
You're not going to find this at Smoky Mountain Knife Works, DLT, or any of the big guys. This is a little outfit. Check out that little painted caramel swirls, though. Is that cool or what? Let's take a look at it in the hand. As you can see, it's going to be very snappy. Pretty much centered down the middle. Let's get the uh, <clears throat> pedestal of fame. Whoops. You knew that was going to happen. All right, everything's back to normal. <laughs> oh, man. So what do we got here? Handle about four and an eighth. Say four. Can't get nothing to focus in here. There we go. Main blade. About three and an eighth with a cutting edge or just under three. <clears throat> Check out the old spade blade. Really nice fit. I do like this traditional um, trapper handle. It's got the little swell in the bend at the end. Um, there, there you're looking at um, three and a quarter and a cutting edge of right at three. Check the back side. I don't know why we're not getting there we go. If you can see, there's a very slight gap. Nothing too major. High polish on the back springs. As you can see that gap's really not a big issue. Seems to be a little extra dirty today. But anyway, you get a really high polish on the back springs. High polish bolsters, shield, fingerprint magnet everywhere. And once again, it just feels really good in the hand. <clears throat> nice knife there. So let's bring it out with some other ones that I have to share with you. Put this out. First, there's the case, and this Rhino knows all about this. This is the Rough Rider. Oh God, I forgot what they called the uh, cover material, but this is my bone version of my trapper so we'll put that out there um, <clears throat> also this is one you're not going to see very often this is a Shat and Morgan but if you look it's a true it's not the um, uh, razor style it's a true one hand opening blade I mean, you can just drag that on your um, jeans, on the ground, but it'll come right up for you. And this has a really sweet looking blade. Shat Morgan, one of 30. 
This is in uh, Marvel wood, which is just, I think, an aged wood. Old growth and aged. So we'll put that down there. And last but not least, the Boker Exclu HQ Exclusive, which is beer barrel wood, and it has the acid etch to give it that good old patina look. Now this one's got a little bit of blade wrap, as you'll see. It's a little nick in the edge here. Nothing real serious. But anyway, <clears throat> I'll put that out there. So there's three wood covers and the one bone. God, I wish I remember what that was called. Striped, um, striped something. But here, I'll give you guys a quick look on the way out. Until next time, my friends, take care. Peace. Bye-bye.